Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qadabia Palace His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highnesses praised the economic, industrial and military developments witnessed in the Kingdom, which reflects the capability of Bahrain to host various events. They affirmed the government's keenness to continue supporting the Kingdom's strategy in diversifying sources of income. They stressed that the Kingdom's hosting of international security and military events reflects its efforts in maintaining security and stability, in addition to strategic partnerships with different countries in order to combat terrorism. The Royal Highnesses then discussed a number of initiatives aiming to improve government actions and unity efforts in order to provide the best living standards for Bahrainis and meet their aspirations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's article in the Washington Times newspaper, which included noble values regarding tolerance and coexistence, which showcased the Kingdom of Bahrain as a role model in society. He hailed the contents of His Majesty's words and stressed that these high values should be an approach taken by worldwide governments and societies. His Royal Highness praised the events that were hosted by the Kingdom recently, such as the Fourth Middle East B Process Engineering Conference and Exhibition, MIPEC 2017, and the 15th Afro-Asian Federation of Afro-Asian Insurers and Reinsurers, which were des designated by the, the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, to inaugurate. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa briefed His Royal Highness about the conferences and conveyed the thanks and appreciation of the participants for His Royal Highness's patronisation. The cabinet then condemned the terrorist attack in Somalia that resulted in the killing of hundreds of people and leaving many injured. The cabinet expressed their condolences to the leadership and the people of Somalia. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed concerned bodies to speed up the development of heritage areas in Maharik in addition to development projects that serve the people of Maharik, like the Sa'ada project that aimed to improve public services and infrastructure. His Royal Highness then directed to look into citizens' needs and to deal with them immediately, and that all ministries and government agencies should provide the full attention and care. He asked that improving government services, achieving citizens' aspirations, solving their problems and meeting their needs are the government's top priority. The Cabinet approved a draft law ratifying the Unified Agreement on Selective Taxation for the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, issued in 2016, after its approval by the GCC Financial and Economic Cooperation Committee. 
the Cabinet approved the Selective Taxation Draft Law in pursuant with the GCC Unified Agreement on Selective Taxation and referred it to the Legislative Authority. According to this law, certain selected commodities, especially products that cause health problems, such as tobacco derivatives, are subject to 100% taxation, 50% taxation on soft drinks and 100% for energy drinks. It also organises dealing with cases of tax evasion and criminal penalties, tax refunds, exemption cases, registration for tax purposes and licensing of the tax warehouse. The Cabinet approved and referred a draft law amending provision of the Commercial Companies Law issued by Decree Law 21 of 2001 to the Legislative Authority, which aims to maintain the rights of all investors or contributors or contributing companies, whether financial or administrative, rights and the right to vote. The Cabinet approved to reorganise the Ministry of Health with the Government's direction to minimise organisational structures of government bodies and integrate departments by cancelling the position of Assistant Undersecretary and six departments and approve the organisational structure suggested by the Civil Service Bureau. The Cabinet approved and then amended the protocol of the Free Trade Agreement between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of the United States of America and authorised the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to sign the final agreement in preparation for the legal and constitutional procedures. The Cabinet was briefed on the improvement of the number and duration of electrical interruptions in the summer of 2017, despite the growing demand for electricity through the memorandum presented from the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister commended the efforts of the Minister and the Authority in improving the quality of their services. The Cabinet referred to draft laws proposed by the Representatives Council to the Legislative Authority on the care for rehabilitation and employment of disabled people and organisation of fishing, exploitation and protection of marine resources. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qadabia Palace the Kuwaiti Army's Deputy Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Sheikh Abdullah bin Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Sabah, on the occasion of his participation in the Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference, BIDEC, 2017. His Royal Highness praised brotherly ties linking the two countries and he at the bilateral cooperation of in all fields highlighted by the role played by Kuwait in supporting the Kingdom's progress. The Kuwaiti Army's Deputy Chief of Staff expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for the warm reception and praised his efforts in strengthening bilateral relations. He praised the role of His Royal Highness in dealing with various regional and international issues and wished for continued bilateral cooperation in various fields.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Qadabia Palace outgoing Iraqi ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Ahmed Yajraf al Dalemi, on the occasion of concluding his diplomatic term in the kingdom. His Royal Highness praised the relations between the two countries and expressed thanks and appreciation to Dr. al Dalemi in his efforts in strengthening fraternal bilateral relations. He wished Iraq more stability and prosperity. The outgoing ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for the support he has received in Bahrain and wished the Kingdom of further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qadabia Palace the outgoing US Ambassador to Bahrain, William Roebuck. During the meeting, His Royal Highness commended the American strategy announced by US President Donald Trump for the, its importance in providing the elements of security and stability and support of the efforts exerted in combating terrorism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the efforts of Ambassador Roebuck in developing the existing friendship and cooperation relations between the two countries, which have contributed to serving both interests as well as security and stability in the region, wishing the envoy further success in his future assignments. His Royal Highness also underscored the strength of the Bahraini US relations that are based on solid foundations of mutual respect and bilateral desire to form a concrete example of cooperation and understanding towards common interests. He also noted the importance of promoting bilateral cooperation between the two friendly countries in order to support security and stability in the region and to contribute to achieving common aspirations, especially in economic, trade and investment fields. Ambassador Roebuck expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keen interest in elevating relations between the two countries. He also voiced delight in representing his country in the Kingdom as well as the cooperation with all sides wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa announced the launch of the 2018 Government Forum under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa which will be held on Sunday, October the 22nd. The summit will review the achievements of the government between 2015 to 2018 it will also address the policies of the different government bodies. The forum is considered an important platform where a number of public bodies participate to discuss the means of development to increase the workplace according to the comprehensive vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The forum has contributed to enhancing the public performances according to the highest standards, which has contributed to achieving the goals concerning enhancing public services provided to the citizens. The forum reflects the government's keenness on achieving Bahrain's economic vision 2030 and its principles based on sustainability, competitiveness and fairness. We can defend ourselves with uh, good capability against any threat. Deputised by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, today inaugurated Bahrain's first ever Tri-Service Expo, Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference, BIDEC 2017. Held under the patronage of His Majesty the King, BIDEC has attracted over 3,000 attendees, including high-profile military, government and industry figures. The event, which will run until 18th of October, will feature 180 international exhibitors from 60 countries, showcasing the latest technology, equipment and hardware across land, sea and air. Alongside the expo, 
FIDEC will host the Middle East Military Alliances and Coalitions Conference, a new military forum for dialogue on the importance of international coalitions to addressing global and regional security challenges. The conference will feature delegations from NATO, UN peacekeeping operations, the Arab Coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen, and the Islamic Military Alliance to fight terrorism. In a statement following a tour of BIDEC, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince said that BIDEC reflects Bahrain's commitment to supporting those strategic alliances that are successfully combating terrorism across the world, noting that Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF's role in supporting the Saudi-led coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen and the international coalition's campaign against ISIL. His Royal Highness spoke of the importance of forums such as BIDEC in enhancing political and military cooperation in pursuit of regional stability, as well as advancing military technology capabilities. Upon his arrival, His Royal Highness was received by the Commander-in-Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Commander of the Royal Guard and Chairman of the Supreme Organising Committee of BIDEC, Brigadier General, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, Major General, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials. In a statement, the BDF Commander-in-Chief said that BIDEC is a testament to the Kingdom's diversified economy, integrated infrastructure and advanced commercial legislation, as well as the spirit of creativity that cr characterises the Bahraini society. He went on to note that Bahrain has long acknowledged the importance of innovation within the military industry sector and that BIDEC reflects Bahrain's commitment to ensuring the Kingdom's defence capabilities and support it by the most advanced technologies. In a statement, the Commander of the Royal Guard said that the Kingdom of Bahrain has always been a crossroad of civilizations and cultures, as well as a distinguished centre for trade exchanges, and BIDEC is the latest example of this historic role. His Highness noticed that in showcasing the latest technologies and providing a forum for international military cooperation, BIDEC is supporting the development of Bahrain's military industries sector, which is central to the Kingdom's economic diversification programme. His Highness highlighted the range of international delegations present at BIDEC and the Middle East Military Alliances and Coalitions Conference reflect the strength of the relations between Bahrain and the Allies. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, BIDEC opens its doors today, attracting local, regional and international audiences of key decision makers from government, army, navy, air force and defence industry. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference, the first tri service exhibition held in Bahrain, opens its doors today, positioning Bahrain as an international business gateway for the defence sector. The uh, international appetite was quite apparent and, and reflected both in, uh, in participants, in uh, exhibitors, and in, uh, in sponsorship. Um, we were very pleased to see uh, a number of uh, high-profile military delegations who flew over to Bahrain to visit uh, whether the national pavilions or whether to visit the, the exhibition uh, as a whole. This exhibition is uh, very impressive. I've seen numerous uh, representatives from all around the world. Uh, I've not seen uh, this many representatives uh, at any exhibition previously. Uh, the technology and the uh, countries represented here is, is very impressive. The organization of such a large-scale event has required joint effort from the Bahrain Defense Force, Ministry of Interior, National Guard, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies. We are looking forward to, to see uh, what the other manufacturers or defense uh, companies offering. Then we we'll want to go and take a look. I will send my team actually whenever we, we finish uh, uh, from those visitors to come to our stand to go and take a look for more more option uh, even that we can like advise to to get it from get it from them or we can go and see what we can uh, create things almost similar to our uh, air defense systems it's really important to have this relationship between the public and the militaries so uh, i'm not a businessman uh, so I, i'm not uh, 
uh, involved in the you know in the business between uh, companies and everything. But I'm a user, so it's really interesting for me uh, to advise about what kind of equipment we can use on the terrain during the the training for the quality and uh, to be ready for uh, the operations. More than 120 exhibitors from all over the world display equipment covering land, sea, air and special forces, including a static display area showcasing the latest military hardware, vehicles and airframes. We sponsored and, and, and participated in the very first Bahrain Air Show and every one of the shows and of course, like we were talking to General Nasser this morning, uh, we intend to be here for all the shows because we've been a partner with uh, Bahrain and the Bahrain Defense Forces for over a quarter of a century since they bought their first F-16s uh, over 25 years ago. The first day already shows that it's uh, very good uh, and promising a lot of opportunities to meet the people and to meet the customers, to meet the other manufacturers. And I hope it will be one of the key events in the region, in the Gulf region in future. No doubts for me. We introduced a, a new gun, as you see uh, from the vehicle exposed here, which is uh, uh, larger than, in terms of caliber, larger than the original one. We introduced a new fire control system, which permitted uh, to uh, shoot against the enemy uh, in day and night, uh, and uh, 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 what we call uh, shooting on the move. The event is a great platform to showcase Bahrain's prominence as a member of military coalitions and as a strategic partner in international alliances. Bayrik has finally opened its doors to the public with more than 120 exhibitors from 39 countries for the first time in Bahrain, showcasing the latest in defense technology and advancements. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffour. The Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received today at his office at the General Command Prince Fahed bin Abdullah Al Saud on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom to attend Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference 2017, BIDEC. The BDF Commander in Chief welcomed Prince Fahed Al Saud, praising the deep rooted bilateral relations. He wished the Prince a pleasant stay in Bahrain to attend the conference and exhibition of BIDEC, which is being held for the first time in Bahrain. BIDEC is considered an excellent opportunity to view the latest developments in the field of defence, technologies and mechanisms. The Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received today at his office at the General Command, the Minister of Defence of Oman, Sheikh Bada bin Saud al Basedi, and the accompanying delegation on the occasion of the visit to the Kingdom, to attend BIDEC 2017. Present was the Defence Affairs Minister, Lieutenant General Yosef bin Ahmed Al Jalama. The BDF Commander in Chief welcomed the Omani Defence Minister and his accompanying delegation, hailing the continuous development of the deep rooted relations between the countries. He wished the guests a pleasant stay in the Kingdom to attend the conference and exhibition of BIDEC. The meeting was also attended by the Director of Military Security. Major General Hassan Mohammed Sahad, Inspector General Major General Abdullah Hassan Al Noemi, and Assistant Chief of Staff for Supply and Logistics Rear Admiral Yusuf Ahmed Mas Mas Malala. Commander of the Royal Guards, Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, paid a visit to a number of units of the Bahrain Defence Force, accompanied by His Royal Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa commander of the Royal Guard Force and a number of senior officials of the Royal Guard, commanders of the unit and a number of senior officers. Upon arrival, His Highness Sheikh Nasser was welcomed by the unit's commander and senior officials. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was briefed about the unit's commanders, about the development plans, as well as the military preparation and training programmes implemented by the Royal Special Force. The Royal Guard commander conveyed greetings from His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa the Supreme Commander of the Unit Servicemen, as well as his appreciation of the noble sacrifices they are making with the Saudi-led Arab coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen. His Highness Sheikh Nasser thanked the unit's personnel for the outstanding military professionalism and strong resolve they have shown during their continuous participation within the BDF's task force, which is taking part in Operation Restoring Hope in brotherly Yemen, as well as the tasks assigned to them. 
The Royal Guard Commander lauded the honourable achievements that are constantly attained by the BDF personnel due to the dedication and tireless efforts to serve the nation under all circumstances and at all times. He added that the unit servicemen are always ready to defend the nation and protect its hard-won goals as well as to champion their brothers alongside the BDF brethren and with the directives of His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander, and those of the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. Royal Guard Commander and Chairman of the Higher Organisation Committee of the Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference 2017, BIDEC, Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, in the presence of the Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Major General, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received a number of military officials and chief of staffs of armed forces participating in the exhibition and conference. The Royal Guard Commander also received the Ambassador of the United Kingdom to Bahrain. His Highness reviewed with the guests the latest developments concerning BIDEC, which is considered the first comprehensive international exhibition in the region that includes land, air and naval and military forces. BIDEC is also an excellent opportunity for experts, specialists and representatives from major manufacturers of defence equipment and systems to meet. The exhibition will be a platform for major international companies to exhibit the latest defence systems and military technologies. BIDEC provides an opportunity for government military authorities to review the latest systems, equipment and defence mechanisms. The military officials commended the level of the conference and exhibition and the display of the latest military equipment by the exhibiting companies. His Highness Sheikh NASA also received Commander of the US Naval Forces Central Command, Commander of the US Fifth Fleet and Combined Forces, Admiral Aquilino, in the presence of US Ambassador to the Kingdom, William Roebuck. He discussed recent military developments presented in BIDEC 2017, in addition to discussing recent technology advancements in the military field. His Highness also received Islamic Counter-Terror Alliance Commander General Rahil Sharif and the sidelines of BIDEC 2017. He discussed with the General the state-of-the-art defence systems that the world's leading companies offer and the modern military technologies as well as the most advanced defence systems, equipment and technologies currently in use. Royal Guard Commander and Chairman of the Higher Organising Committee of the Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference 2017, BIDEC, Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, accompanied by Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Major General His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the exhibition. His Highness inspected the various pavilions of the participating countries and the manufacture of arms, defence mechanisms and military equipment. He viewed the combat and military arms as well as the latest advanced systems in defence arms industry. His Highness was briefed by the participants and representatives of global companies on the latest technological developments in the field of military manufacturing of land, air and naval defence weapons. His Highness welcomed the guests from around the world, as well as senior officials and participants from various global companies specialised in the manufacture of arms. Sheikh Nasser wished success to the participants of the exhibition, for their part, the exhibitors expressed pleasure for participating in the unique event. They thanked His Highness for the facilities provided by the exhibition's management.
we can defend ourselves with good capability against any threat. Today, the world has become a one and a one. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,278.26 points, marking an increase of 3.89 points above last closing. The increase was due to the in commercial banks, investments, services, and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the industrial sector with 55.67% of total shares. 171 transactions included 5,501,995 shares worth 1,435,862 Bahraini dinars. The Italian ambassador to the kingdom, Domenico Pilato, said Bahrain is the trade gateway for about $1.5 trillion from the GCC markets. This came on the sidelines of the promotional tour, which is carried out by the Economic Development Board in the Italian capital Rome, where the Italian ambassador said that the Italian manufacturers are wishing to expand trade to the Middle East, particularly in Bahrain. Field of business investment will include technology, pharmaceuticals, fashion, in, in addition to light and heavy machinery. Officials' data showed that both of China's producer price index and consumer price index rose for the month of September. More in this report. China's Commerce Ministry said that the European Union's new trade rules against Chinese imports lacked awareness of World Trade Organization rules, urging the EU to abide by those requirements. The European Union agreed to new rules last week to guard against lower-priced Chinese imports, ending 18 months of wrangling over trade ties with Beijing. The concept of non-market economy countries does not exist in WTO rules and has only been adopted by some of the organization's individual members. Meanwhile, China's producer price index, which measures costs for goods at the factory gate, rose 6.9% year-on-year in September. The pace of PPI growth accelerated from 6.3% in August and surpassed the market prediction of 6.4%. On a monthly basis, the PPI rose 1% in September. For the first time nine months of the year, China's PPI climbed 6.5% from a year earlier. China's consumer price index rate of change rose 1.6% year-on-year in September. The pace of CPI increase narrowed by 0.2 percentage points from 1.8% in August. Food prices declined 1.4%, while non-food price rose 2.4%. In the first nine months of the year, the overall CPI level rose 1.5%, compared with the same period last year. Britain's Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson said it was time to begin serious negotiations on Brexit hours before Prime Minister Theresa May visits Brussels in an attempt to unlock the stalled talks. Negotiations are stuck over the Brexit bill, the Irish border and citizens' rights. Until sufficient progress is made on these three areas, the EU has said it will not move to the next stage of talks about the, the future trade relations with Britain. And finally, before we conclude our business news for this evening, let's take a look at how stock markets around the world fared in daily trading. That's it from the business desk and back to you, Keith. Thank you, Mohammed. A collection of pre-Angkorian temples in Cambodia, called Samba Krikuk, which means the temple of the richness of the forest in Khmer, is the country's third world heritage site. The collection of 7th century temple ruins are scattered across more than 2,000 hectares of forest in Cambodia's Kampong Thom province. Long overshadowed by the more famous temples at Angkor near Siem Reap, the collection of about 50 temples are way off the tourist trail and attract few visitors. But that could be about to change after the UN added them to its World Heritage Sites list on July the 10th of this year. 
The temples were built by Asanavarnam I, the king of Chinla Empire, in the 7th century, and are therefore an important record of civilization that predates the Angkorian period. They were originally constructed in honour of a Hindu god, Shiva, but the temples are now Buddhist. And before we end the news, here's a reminder of the top stories. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince directs to monitor the needs of the citizens and to deal with them immediately. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince inaugurates Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference, BIDA 2017. The BDF Commander-in-Chief praises the deep-rooted bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Highness Sheikh Nasser reviews with the military officials the opportunities provided by BIDEC. And that's all from Bahrain International's News Centre. From all the news team and me, Keith Johnston, goodbye. هي الأرض المقدسة هي أرض مملكة البحرين وطن الأمن والأمان وطن نشأ على ثوابت راسخة وقيم أصيلة تمثلت في صفات شعبه الكريم عبر التسامح والاعتدال والانفتاح على الثقافات الأخرى وصفها ذات يوم حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة ملك البلاد المفدى وصفها ببلد التعايش التي امتزجت فيها الآراء المدنية والعادات الاجتماعية المختلفة As you know, Bahrain has always been famous as a trade center going back maybe all the way to 3000 years BC when the days of trade coming all the way from the northern part of the region, which is Iraq today, the so-called Euphrates Valley, and they come through Bahrain, all the way to India, what was used to be called the Indus Valley. So Bahrain as a trade center has always been active all those years, and the Bahraini people in particular have been very active people, not only through this period, but also after the days of the Phoenician themselves. As you remember, they were very good traders. المشروع الإصلاحي الذي أسس له جلالة الملك المفدى وقاده بكل حنكة أخذ المملكة إلى آفاق أرحب وجعل منها كيانا يستمد قوته من تاريخها العريق. وشعبها المتآخي وكما سطر التاريخ صفحات مضيئة لكل نواحي التقدم والازدهار جسد أبناؤها الأوفياء الحصن المنيع منذ تأسيس قوة دفاع البحرين التي سارت بخطى مدروسة نحو التطور والتقدم ملبية كل الاحتياجات الدفاعية لمملكة البحرين احنا نترجم دائما نظرة سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة اللي هو يطمع ودائما طموح جدا في استقطاب المناسبات الكبيرة وتنظيم الفعاليات الكبيرة. مملكة البحرين نجحت في تنظيم فعاليات كثيرة في مملكة البحرين بعزم طاقاتها الشباب البحرينيين والخبرات البحرينية بالشراكة مع أصحاب الخبرات مثل الشركات التنظيمية. المعرض والمؤتمر الأول للدفاع طبعا هذه يعني مبادرة جديدة عندنا في مملكة البحرين إن شاء الله راح نواصل كل عامين نعقد هذا المؤتمر وهذا المعرض 
نستغطب في جميع المنظومات من جميع دول العالم ونستغطب في جميع الأفكار والندوات من دول العالم من أصحاب خبرات فضل من الله ومن فضل سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة ملك البلاد تم توجيهنا بإنشاء هذا المعرض الكبير اللي هو المعرض العسكري ومثل ما انت عارف يعني المعارض نفس هذه تجذب الدول من جميع انحاء العالم وهذا يبرز مملكه البحرين يعني دوليا وعالميا وهذه من اهم النقاط اللي قمنا فيها والحمد لله. مع قرار مملكه البحرين لاحتضان معرض مؤتمر البحرين الدولي للدفاع والذي سيقام كل سنتين ان شاء الله. ومن خلال اللجنة العليا المنظمة للمعرض المؤتمر برئاسة سمو العميل الركن الشيخ ناصر محمد الخليفة قائد الحرس الملكي حرص علينا أمانة منذ أكثر من عام منذ أن بدأنا بالتحضير لهذا المعرض المؤتمر حرص على أمران الأمر الأول أن يتم العمل بروح الفريق الواحد والأسرة الواحد وأن نعمل بمعايير الجودة والدقة والتميز وهو ما حرصنا عليه طيلة العام الماضي الأمر الثاني حرص أن نركز على التخصص النوعي من خلال الشركات العرضة من خلال العلامات المسجلة ومن خلال النخب المشاركة سواء كانت عسكرية أو فكرية من مراكز دراسات وبحوث أو زوار ومهتمين When we were offered the opportunity to be a platinum sponsor for this year's BIDEC, we jumped at the opportunity. Uh, we feel this will be a fantastic chance to engage with our friends in Bahrain, uh, as well as with the Royal Bahrain Air Force and the Armed Forces, as well as with delegations from across the GCC. So this is a great opportunity to be here, and we're very thankful. منذ أن وضع جلالة الملك المفدى اللبنة الأولى قبل نحو خمسة عقود متمثلة بتأسيس قوة الدفاع. ككيان قادر على الذود عن المكتسبات الوطنية وحماية أراضيه والمحافظة على أمنه واستقلاله وسيادته ولدت ثقافة عسكرية راقية مبنية على الولاء للقيادة وحب الوطن والرغبة المستمرة في مواكبة كل التطورات الهائلة التي يشهدها العالم في مجال العلوم العسكرية والدفاع والتسليح الأمر الذي آل إلى تبني استضافة كبرى المعارض والمؤتمرات الإقليمية والعالمية المتخصصة على أرضها الطيبة ويشكل معرض ومؤتمر البحرين الأول للدفاع أحد أهم هذه الملتقيات في منطقة الشرق الأوسط Under the instruction of His Majesty King Hammond, the Supreme Commander of the Bahrain Defense Force Bahrain have uh, already done four uh, air show exhibition, as you know, before. And thank God, walillah alhamd, have always been successful. Uh, this is the fifth, I would say, military exhibition. And we hope and we look forward that this exhibition will be a success. المعرض حقيقة سيعرض جميع أنواع الأسلحة مثل جميع التخصصات وفي شركات كبيرة رائدة في هذا المجال ولها باع طويل وسيتم عرض هذه الأسلحة إن شاء الله في خلال هذا المعرض وسيتم تجربة بعض الأسلحة في الميادين في ميادين الرماية وسيتم فحصها كذلك بعض الآليات سيتم فحصها بعد في الميادين الجنوبية من البلاد كذلك سيتم عرض بعض السفن الحربية وبتشاهدونها إن شاء الله المؤتمر سيتم كذلك إلغاء بعض المحاضرات من قبل مسؤولين كبار في المنطقة وفي من العالم طبعا وسيتم عرض بعض المواقف الموجودة في المنطقة أو الموقف السياسي والموقف العسكري في المنطقة وبعض التحالفات اللي حاصلة اليوم على الساحة العربية والساحة الخليجية وعلى مستوى العالم هناك شقان للمعرض والمؤتمر الشق الأول أن المعرض رايح يتيح للراقبين للطلاع على أحدث المعدات والتجهيزات العسكرية الموجودة في المعرض والشق الآخر والأهم وهو المتعلق بالمؤتمر والذي سيحتوي على الكثير من المواضيع 
التي سيتم مناقشتها في مختلف المجالات التقنية والعسكرية. I think uh, it will be add to the uh, previous event like the Formula One and uh, Bahrain International Air Show. This is the third in size. Uh, this exhibition will attract a lot of uh, international companies, companies that will display uh, a number of new products, new technologies. استطاعت اللجنة العليا المنظمة لمعرض المؤتمر البحرين دولي الدفاع بغير اسمه الشيخ ناصر بن حمد منذ الاجتماع الأول الذي رسم من خلاله رؤية جلالة الملك لهذه التظاهرة الدولية. وما تطمح اليه مملكه البحرين من وراء تنظيم هذا المعرض والمؤتمر. فكانت انذاك الفكره كبيره بالنسبه لنا جميعا. قدمها سمو الشيخ ناصر وكان تحدي كبير ليس فقط للجنه العليا المنظمه ولكن لجميع الاجهزه الممثله في هذه اللجنه العليا. وشهدنا خلال العام الماضي تظافر جميع الجهود من خلال الوزارات، من خلال القطاع الخاص، من خلال الداعمين من خلال الشركات الأجنبية كان جهد جبارة ما نتنا الكل عملك خلية نحل على مدار العام في التنظيم في التحضير في الترويج الخارجي لهذه الفعالية وأعتقد أن أن هذا مكسب كبير لمملكة البحرين. We're very happy to be here this week and happy to be a part of the inaugural Bahrain International Defense and Exhibition Conference. يستقي معرض ومؤتمر البحرين الأول للدفاع في نسخته الأولى أهمية بالغة باعتبار أن التنسيق المشترك بين مختلف الدول أصبح من ضروريات العصر الحالي للتشاور والتبادل في الأراء حول الموضوعات الدفاعية